As you know, in this course, we'll be using the Grove system of components for the Arduino, and uh, we'll be using the components that come with the Groove Starter Kit for Arduino that I've got here. So in this lecture, I'm going to dive into these components, have a look inside the box, and one by one, uh, briefly present what each component does. So let's uh, have a look inside. It's a fairly nicely designed kit. It's got really all the components that uh, are expected in our study kit. It comes with a nice leaflet as well. I'm going to put aside and do some of these experiments a little later. But here you can see first of all the main components. So uh, start with the most important of which this shield is called the base shield here and I'm going to show you how it works in the very next lecture. So we're going to plug uh, components into the sockets here. But this is the most important component that comes with the kit. You can buy it separately, of course, but no matter what you do with the various other Grove modules, you will need the shield. So I'll put this aside. Now, apart from the uh, base shield, the kit comes with a 2 by 16 uh, characters LCD RGB or red, green, blue backlit uh, display like this one. We'll be using this display in our experiments to show graphical uh, elements uh, such as uh, smileys, for example, uh, and text and numbers, of course. So a lot of our experiments will be using this LCD display. Then we have the individual components. I'll start from the top left. Uh, this one here is a touch sensor. So it's got a touch sensitive surface at the back, even though even the front actually works. And all you've got to do is to touch it and then it can trigger a function on the Arduino. So you can use this uh, instead of a momentary button like, I'm going to skip the queue here and show you this momentary button. So this is uh, a button that you press it, it momentarily closes the circuit and then it will pop back out again. So you can use that to trigger again events on the Arduino. So these two components uh, can be used for the same functions. Next, here we've got a microphone. So you can use this module to detect sounds. Uh, a loud sound, for example, like clapping hands or um, a noise in the room, for example, when somebody's closing a door and the door, as it closes, makes a bit of noise. This microphone here can detect such events. This module here contains a temperature sensor. Uh, there's a few different ways by which you can build the temperature sensor. This one here is using a thermistor, which is a resistor uh, that has a resistance that changes uh, with the change in temperature. So we'll be using this to measure and then calculate temperature. I've got an experiment uh, later on in this course where I show you how to build your Grove system with an Arduino to build an environment monitor. Okay, next up, we've got a fairly loud buzzer. So we're gonna use this little buzzer here to make a lot of noise. Next up, we've got a light sensor. So this light sensor allows us to measure the intensity of the ambient light. So we'll be able to use it to tell whether lights in the lab, for example, or in the classroom are turned on or off. And uh, quite useful in conjunction with something like a relay, which again, out of order, this device here is a relay. We can use it to turn on and off large loads, like a light, for example, or a fan. So we can detect if the light in a room is turned off or if the light coming from a window, for example, is dimming, so it could be like late afternoon, and then we can use this relay to turn on the lights. Or alternatively, we could use the temperature sensor to detect whether it's getting hot and then use the relay to turn on a fan. So these are some of the things that you can do with these components. 
Uh, next up, right here, we've got a module that we can use to control an LED. So we can simply plug in the LED in the socket here, right there. And then uh, with the connection to the shield, we'll be able to control whether the LED is turned on or off. And with this little potentiometer, we can actually control the intensity of how much light is coming out of the LED. All right. And finally, for the top layer of our kit, we've got a potentiometer. So this is an analog device. As we turn the potentiometer, we can change the value that the Arduino is uh, reading in its analog input. So we'll be using this in one of our experiments as well a bit later. So that's the components that uh, come with the kit in the top layer. Remove the top layer, we'll see a bunch of other things. Uh, we've got a little analog servo motor. So we can use this motor to produce movement. And uh, a servo motor, as you may know, is a motor that allows us to control precisely the movement of, of the shaft here. So we can tell the servo motor to move in a specific number of degrees, for example. So really nice little device here used as an actuator. We've got a connector for a nine volt battery so that we can detach our gadgets from the computer and still be able to use it as a battery powered device. We've got a bunch of cables. I'm going to talk more about these cables uh, that are part of the Grove system and how to use them in conjunction with the shield in uh, uh, coming up lecture in this section. And the last thing are the LEDs. So the Grove starter kit comes with three LEDs, red, green, and blue, that we can use with the LED module. Okay, now let's move on to the next lecture where I will spend a bit of time to explain how to use these components with the base shield.